Hey, it's Shireen with MyPainCenter.com. Hey, today I'm going to talk to you about our new 50 milligram Delta 8 gummies. So if you watched my prior videos, I have two videos out where I tried a Delta 8 gummy that was 25 milligrams, a 25 milligram Indica and a 25 milligram Sativa. And yeah, those hit me hard, okay? So this one's 50 milligrams. Um, those videos are about a year, year and a half old. So my tolerance has gone up a little bit since I tried those gummies. So hopefully we have better luck with these 50 milligram gummies. And when I say better luck, I mean I don't pass the F out and have to call somebody to come get me off the floor. Um, but again, when I say these are 50 milligrams, you don't have to take the whole 50 milligrams. You can cut them in pieces. We actually always suggest you take a gummy and cut it in four pieces and start with one quarter of a piece a day, not an hour, not a minute, not every 10 minutes, a day. So you can see what is your tolerance level and how much do you actually need? Um, because it depends on what you're trying to get out of taking Delta 8. I love Delta 8 because I have chronic pain. I have fibromyalgia, I have sciatica. I have like spurs in my back. Um, I have anxiety because of all the pain. I have really bad sleep habits uh, because I, obviously a lot of my pain is in my back. So when I lay down, that starts to hurt. So I have problems sleeping. I carry all my stress and tension right here and in my back as well. So Delta 8 is, as I mentioned, Delta 8 is good for chronic pain. So arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, fibromyalgia, um, a lot of cancer patients are using it. People in chemo use it for pain. Um, it's good for anxiety. So if you're looking to relax, if you're looking to de-stress, to like calm down. A lot of people use it for social anxiety if they're going out. Um, be careful though, do not drive while you're using this because if you get pulled over, you can be arrested for being under the influence. Um, it's also good for an appetite stimulant. So if you're looking to increase your appetite, um, I'm trying to think what else. There's so many benefits for Delta 8. And Delta 8, for those of you who don't know, it's a THC product that is federally legal in the United States. So you can walk into your smoke shop, depending on what state you live in, and you can purchase these. There is THC in it, so you will fail a drug test. You will get red eyes. You will get dry mouth. Um, you'll get whatever side effects you would get if you had THC. That's why it's really important to start small, because if you're really just trying to use it for pain relief or anxiety relief and not necessarily to get high, you may not need so much where you start to feel these side effects. Another reason I really like Delta 8 is because I said I have a lot of pain. So Delta 8 is what some people will call light weed. Um, so obviously you have your weed, your marijuana. Delta 8 is considered a light weed, meaning it's not gonna make you as psychoactive high, but it will make you high if you take a lot. I will say that. Um, you'll mostly feel it in your body though. You'll feel a little bit in your head, like you'll feel like that high, that mind sensation, but a lot of it will be happening in your body. Um, so you're gonna feel this like, this unwinding of your muscles, this like decompression, like, like you know, like if somebody was just to give you a deep tissue massage and all your muscles turned into water or gummy bears or something. Like it just, it's such an amazing feeling. Like you have to experience it to know what I'm talking about, but it is like the best, if you suffer from pain like I do and you struggle with sleeping and you carry a lot of your tension in your body, like a lot of stress and anxiety and you just, you want to unwind, but you don't want to go and take like 10 shots of tequila or like drink a bottle of wine um, for whatever reason. Maybe you don't want to be hungover tomorrow. You're trying to wash your calories or you're on some diet. Then these are the way to go. These gummy bears, like, cause they do everything that drinking does for me upset. I still have my senses to me in a way, like I can still function <laughs> and not throw up. Um, I say that Delta 8 is less psychoactive high than, uh, than weed or marijuana. Um, it's longer lasting for me. It, I can take this, I can take a gummy bear and it can last me through the evening and through the night. Um, and if I take it in the daytime, it can last me five to six hours. Um, what else? It's, uh, it's a gradual onset. So depending on what you've eaten and your genetics and your body weight, you'll take the gummy bear and you'll start to feel something. Some people, as soon as 20 minutes, some take an hour, but it's more like, it's like a bell curve and then it kind of flattens out and then it comes back down. It's very gradual onset. So it's not like you're all of a sudden gonna be like, oh my God, I'm high. It's gonna, you're gonna kind of feel it happening. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna take this gummy bear. So instead of me explaining it to you, let me take this gummy bear. I'm gonna take all 50 milligrams and then I will report back on how I feel throughout the evening and throughout the rest of the night. So here is a 50 milligram Delta 8 gummy. Wish me luck. Oh, juicy. It's very chewy. I actually really like this gummy bear because it doesn't have that after effect, that bitterness. 
It also has a really good taste to it where I don't know how uh, many gummy bears you've ever eaten, but some weed gummies or some Delta A gummies taste like you're like putting your hand in a in a cup of dirt and then eating it and you're tasting bark and tree and dirt and grass, which I mean, it's just the hemp plant, but really it's gross. These are not like, it's not like you're eating candy. You're definitely eating something, but it's not like, ah, you know? Okay. I'm going to digest that and I'll be back in an hour maybe and let you know how I'm feeling. So it's been an hour. I feel really good. Like, oh my God. Like, you guys, I've been sitting here for an hour and I don't know when the gummy bear actually hit, but I just realized I don't have my heating pad on. My heating pad is sitting right here next to me, which is so surprising because usually I'm on it 24 seven. Um, but yeah, like I'm one of those people who doesn't get a lot of stuff done during the day because I'm always in pain and it's hard for me to focus and concentrate. But I've actually been on the computer this whole time, like writing emails and like responding to emails. And I think I did a lot of work for the last hour, which is also amazing to me that I was able to do work and didn't have my heating pad on, which means all this anxiety and stress is kind of released out of my body, which is amazing. Like, it's so cool. Um, I have not had the munchies per se, but I did eat some cheese. So I don't know if that's like munchies or I just wanted some cheese. Um, I want some Nutella too, but I can't find it. So maybe I do have the munchies. I don't know. Um, my mouth is not as dry as some gummies make my mouth. I can't tell if my eyes are red. Um, but I feel good. I like this gummy. I I like how it's not too, it's not, it's not an indica. So it's not like putting me into that deep, deep relaxation, even though I am relaxed. So I really like it. I'll report back in the morning. Good morning. So I slept really well. I slept through the night, did not have to wake up to take any more painkillers or anything. Didn't have any pain, didn't wake up with any pain. Um, I did have to wake up to go to the bathroom and I will say the difference between this gummy bear and an Indica that we sell a Delta 8 Indica gummy. I'd say the difference is, is when I take the Indica gummy, woo, child, it is like my brain and my uterus or wherever your pee is stored are having a battle. Like, do we wake up and pee or do we just like, get a UTI or do we hold it? Like, what do we do with this gummy? I did not have to have a fight with it. Um, I was able to get up, go pee, come back to bed and fall right back asleep. Like there was just no issue with that. Um, so I did like it better than taking a strong Indica because it did give me that ability to get out of bed. I actually like it too as a sativa because I did feel productive last night when I took it. Um, I didn't feel like I was in a total couch lock like I do with an Indica gummy, but I didn't feel, ener I didn't feel jittery like I do sometimes if I take a sativa Delta 8 gummy. So I think this was a really good blend if you're looking for something to get started with a Delta 8, um, you're struggling with pain, sleep, anxiety, if you need an appetite stimulant, like I think this is a really great gummy. You can get it on our website at mypaincenter.com. Just go to the Delta 8 section. These are a thousand milligram um, Delta 8 gummies. There's 20 gummies in a jar, 50 milligrams each. They're mango flavored. And let us know what you think in the comments, if you've tried them or if you plan to try them. And if any questions we can answer for you, let me know. My name is Shireen with MyPainCenter.com. Don't forget to subscribe below and we'll see you next time.